Are you sad because your squash looks like this? Oh my gosh. This happens all the time when you're planting squash and you get so disappointed in your garden. So what is going on here? This squash plant is showing signs of wilted leaves and then it actually will collapse and it'll kill the whole plant. So why does this happen? What's wrong with the squash? This is a whole bed of squash and most of the other plants here look healthy, but this one has collapsed. So this is the, the culprit is the squash vine borer. It's a little wasp that has clear wings. She flies in the mornings and in the evenings. Actually, I just saw one in here just a few minutes ago. And she hovers around and then she'll crawl into the base of your plant and she'll lay eggs deep down inside here. And when she lays eggs, the little larva will bore into the stems. And when they bore in the stems, they interrupt the flow of the water in your squash plant. And gradually your stems die and you lose your whole plant. So here he is here. I inspected this guy and I was able to cut this fellow out. So look here, there's the little culprit. If you can see him, it's kind of hard to make it out. Oh, am I in the light? There's the little guy right there. There he is and there's his boring holes. He was up in the stem here. Now one of the techniques is you're supposed to look for these the little frass that any little caterpillar might make. Here he is, he's come out of his but he only gets about an inch. He's got a, a, a typical caterpillar looking body with a black head and he tapers at both ends and he'll definitely get bigger than this because this little guy's only half inch long. But he was burrowing these holes and causing the plant to wilt. So you look on the outside for frass and things to try to identify them. Now one of the techniques that they say is in the early spring when you plant your squash, you can try putting, to prevent him, put aluminum foil around the base of your stems or nylons, which sounds outrageously complicated. You might try sprinkling some diatomaceous earth around the base because that, that discourages a lot of different insects around the base. If you were to see the adults flying, you might spray, but that's just a random hit. What's the probability you're gonna hit and kill these little larvae before they bore inside the stems? So spraying a permethrin or, or spraying spinosad is still kind of a hit and miss kind of program. The best thing to do is try to outsmart the insect. So they lay eggs in the early part, the first squash are susceptible, and then you can, are not susceptible, I'm sorry. Put in transplants early, you can outsmart the life cycle of the bug then, and also then planting late, like mid-June, planting and hitting the end of the cycle, or planting a succession of crops. You know they're gonna come, almost always they're gonna come. So just try to outsmart them by these succession of crops. Make sure you rotate because they, uh, when they pupate, they pupate right in the ground within the top two inches. So if you plant squash in the same place every year, the guy's already in the ground. He's gonna just come up and get right on your plant. So you have to rotate plants. You gotta tear out all the old debris. Don't keep any of these old vines on your garden. Get them cleaned out thoroughly. Even um, if you're a person that likes to till, tilling your garden in the late fall can turn that little larva that's in the top two inches, can turn him up on the ground and can actually kill him. So those are some preventative practices. Another thing to do is just get in there and look for him with your knife and look for the frass. And you can just cut open your stems and try to locate him. And I already cut this one, but I have a feeling I killed the stem. But you can cut these open and if you find him and dig him out, or if you see where he's bored a hole, you can take a wire and jam it in the hole, and then you would just mound soil back over top of your plant, mound it up and protect it and water it in, and you might be able to outsmart him there. You know, can you just cover your plant to keep that moth from laying eggs? Yeah, you can, but remember, these are insect pollinated plants. There's bees flying around here, so you can't cover them long term. That can only be the early spring solution. So there's your squash vine borer, the disappointment of anybody who plants squash. Come on over here and take a look at this one. Here's another one that looks like it might have it. Here's a, did I tell you, the Hubbards don't get it. Most of your winter squash and summer squash get it. But this one's starting to show signs of yellowing. So it might be worth getting in here and inspecting some of these vines to look and see why they're yellowing. But that's the gist of the squash vine borer. Everybody has woes with this bad guy.